going on everybody it's craig with next gen car guys mike's behind the camera this time uh today we got a little bit of a video it's probably going to be a short one but we painted some intake plates for the fox body and and these are the 5-0 plates yeah this one's off an explorer intake this is the this one, one that came stock on the car and the they spot. were painted with hobby paint we went down to the local hobby store picked up some paint and decided to give the car a little love and maybe a little update you know try to dress different. it up a little bit <clears throat> be different than everybody else so everybody what's your take on craig's new uh oh yeah this is my fourth of july hat get up here where you can see it better <laughs> yeah i thought so, i'd wear it because it matched this one so oh yeah all right so you want to put one on the car and let's see what it's going to look like we don't want to really show everybody what the car looks like right now, but it, uh, it's pretty dirty. It needs to wash it. Yeah, it needs to. I washed it's... the outside. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's surprising. That... Oh yeah, it is. It's clean. Holy crap. Wow, looks pretty good. Huh. The inside's still dirty. Don't look, it's got tire wet. Don't, don't look you at put that. tire shine on. Fancy. Yeah, that one looks pretty good up there. That's the, the That's the nicest part on the whole car right there. Well, I mean, you got to let me do all the rest of this stuff. <laughs> so what we're going to do uh, probably in the next day or two is uh, do a little walk around video on Craig's car. Um, we haven't been able to do one. Uh, we've both been busy, and every time we try to do something, it's dark. Oh, hey, uh, <coughs> you guys that are, like, new to the channel or whatever, if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, Rattlesnake SVT. Rattlesnake underscore SVT is my Instagram username. So if you want to keep up to date with the build, whatever. I mean, it's going to be a while, but we're doing little stuff here and there. Just <coughs> well, uh, I think we told them in an, uh, another video we were doing, but go ahead and tell them uh, what all you've already got ordered for the car and plans for the car. Okay, so the stuff that I have ordered right now that's actually sitting at home, uh, 373 rear gears, the whole master kit from LMR is like $300. Uh, limited slip clutches because my limited slip doesn't work that great right now and headers I've got an x-pipe to go on it smog delete EGR delete is about the only thing I got and I've got coyote style black 5-0 emblems to go on the side awesome so it's, it's coming together um, it's one of them deals where it's kind of hard to get this car in the shop um, we've just been so busy with everything else so uh, the 82 project that we've got going um, yeah we need to do it Go ahead and put the update in this video too. Well, yeah, we can do that. Um, but uh, let's do a quick walk around. And like I said, one day, one one day, uh, hopefully soon, we'll get to get it in the daylight. I'll let you guys check it out. But the car uh, has been painted uh, fairly recently, about two years ago, and it's it's a good looking car. It's straight. That's that's what I like about it's it. It's got a, a legit original sixty three thousand miles on it. Uh, second owner, you. Third owner. Third owner. So it's it's it is it's just it's just a nice GT. You don't see them this nice anymore. They, you know, unless they're, uh, you know, eight thousand dollars now. The, the the market on the Fox body has just went up. Yeah, I think Brutal was talking about that. Yeah, I believe he did. Yeah. But, so uh, the reason why I ended up, like ended up getting this car mainly is because like I wanted another Fox body. Uh, I sold my red LX hat that I had a couple years ago which he should have had his self beat up for that yeah that was a nice that's car a nice car that was the nicest car i've owned but decided i wanted to try something different and then i got a 96 cobra a little way a little while down the road and, <clears throat> and that's where the uh rattlesnake, rattlesnake came, uh, from. came from because that car rattled horribly it had a cam follower or lash adjuster one just it was just bad. coming apart and it was bad and it sounded like it it said it literally sounded like it was gonna <laughs> blow up every day it did but uh, <clears throat> so that's where Rattlesnake came from, and I've decided to keep that name because I mean I was the first one on Instagram to have it, so I'm keeping it. I heard that. But uh, let's throw that other intake plate on here and let's see which one we like better. Of course, that was the 5.0, that was uh, the V8 one. Yeah, that one. It's American pretty nice. Flag. It turned out pretty good. Both of them turned out really good, though I think. But because you got the purple emblem on the car, I think the purple's gonna. So <laughs> the theme with this car that I want to end up doing is I want to put like some gold mesh wheels like SVE sells a set of mesh wheels and gold with a polished lip that goes on this car or well if you got a five lug swap <clears throat> but gold and white and golden air er, and purple is going to be the theme yeah that looks good on there so, so I now we probably need to clean and polish the intake so it looks really nice 
Uh, I don't want to pause and take. We'll just clean it up. And just paint clean it. it up and paint it. But so the theme, like I said, is gonna be white and gold and white and purple. Those are just colors I like. Everybody has like blue and red. Right. So I just kind of decided I'd go purple. Go I like purple. purple. So that's the theme I'm shooting for. Hopefully it'll be there one day. Right. Well, um, so then the, I guess real quick, you want to slap this, uh, which one did you decide to go with? You want to go with this one for now then? Uh, I guess I'll go with it. All right, so go ahead and grab that bit. Um, can't remember what size it is. I think it's a T20. Uh, we we'll look at it real quick. It should paint it to screws. Yeah, it should say on here. Uh, yeah, uh, you guys can't see it, but it is a T20. So we're going to put this on real quick. All right, guys, so the intake plate is on. <clears throat> so let us know what you think. Like I said, a little hobby paint, uh, a little bit of uh, time. It took us a whole, what, uh, hour and a half or so to get everything kind of painted up. We did do an extra coat on them, and then... Um, Total, it took like two days. Cause we let yeah, because we let it dry and cure real good. And then uh, just went over it with a few coats of that uh, high temp clear. The engine uh, enamel clear. En yeah, engine enamel. So, yeah, I think it's turned out pretty good. So, yeah, just let us know down in the comments below what you guys think about that. And, uh, yeah, so I guess what uh, you'll, I guess we'll go over here and show what, uh, what we got going on with the 82. Go. All right, so over here checking out the 82 project. Um, looks like it's going to be a little more work involved than what we initially uh, thought, unfortunately. Um, get this right here, get a little light. Unfortunately, I don't have my big light out here. But... Uh, bring you in right here and check this out <clears throat> so previous owner told us that the vehicle has never been wrecked but you can clearly see by the thickness of the bondo here <laughs> that it has been wrecked uh it doesn't look like it's been wrecked hard uh we kind of looked over it doesn't uh have real really any structural damage um this is your main uh frame runner here you got you know of course on both sides um this is where your strut tower uh right here is and then your main two bolts goes up under here and then this right here is where your uh, sway bar mounts so nothing's out of alignment which is i guess good um got in here and ground something this this right here was completely full of bondo it was that thick it was ridiculous and if you can get them in here Craig, check this out right here this was actually full of bondo and putty and if it had been left alone, of course, it you can see where it's already rusted, the jagged edges on the metal. It's just bad. So someone actually come in here instead of tack, you know spot welding like they should have. They they tack the metal, which is not bad, but I'd rather it have been done correctly. Um, there's a little rust spot here, no big deal. Um, we are planning on buying the uh, smoothing panels. Oh yeah, Scott Rod. Uh, Scott Rod has the panels. I think that's what we're looking at. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I think it's on this side too. Uh, maybe you can get it here. Yeah, it's you can kind of see it. So right up in here too, it's a little, little rough. Just not something you want to find. Um, not in a in a project car. Not a project car. This is, I mean, I understand that's the point in a project car, but right. I mean, this is supposed to be kind of a more of a clean cut kind of deal. Yeah. But it's not going to be like that. It's so we thought, anyway. Be something. But I haven't done a whole lot of body work. Um, brutal. Neither I've watched a lot of his videos. Awesome. I wish I could. Oh yeah. I wish. And, and I wish we could like and maybe hang out with him, and and watch the way he does things, and maybe I could pick up a few pointers. Okay. So I have decided to. I think LMR was the place I looked at. Had the core support, uh, radiator core support comes in one piece. Mm -hmm. That was two hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and, and, and replace this. The only issue is on these vehicles, of course, everybody knows that a Fox body is a unibody car. Yeah. Uh, there's my new engine. Hey, look, we got an engine, guys. <laughs> it's a, there's it's Apollo, a... and I think Zeus is... A... Zeus! Where's Zeus? There's Zeus. So basically what he's saying is we just doggo swapped an 82 Mustang. Doggo swap. That's it, boys. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow... Anytime you're dealing with a unibody car, um, we remove the K member. Um, when you do something like that, it of course weakens its structural, you know, structural integrity. There's the K member um, on the ground. So before we remove this uh, and get it off the car, 
I left the crash bar on the front because it's directly bolted into the frame runners. Um, I don't want to remove this without the K memory in just for the fact that the front end could shift. Yeah. Um, we're not exactly on level ground here, unfortunately. I don't have a nice shop yet. I'm working on getting them built. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're working on. And not really something I was, I was wanting to do. So it's your fault. If you guys haven't been on the channel very long and you haven't watched and you haven't watched many of the videos we talked about taking his 06 gt that he got for decently cheap uh the car ended up being abandoned somehow i don't understand but anyway it's got a three valve 4.6 in it with a manual transmission that we're going to swap into this 82 body and we're actually going to try to make like we're either going to put dakota digital gauges in it or make the three valve cluster fit in the car i know we can't get the dash to fit unless you like cut it a lot so we're actually trying to decide what we want to do and the dakota digital stuff is awesome but it's not cheap you know you're looking and at eight like eight nine hundred dollars for a gauge cluster you know, but and don't get me wrong the factory fox uh wiring harness so that's going to be kind of weird or that might actually and be a little difficult trying to integrate it into that car's wiring system because everything on that car is totally different I do know that the computer in that car is mounted under the hood, so we've yeah, got I noticed plenty that. of room. I mean, we've got, um, I did clean up all the wiring on this side, starter solenoids off, all that wiring's cleaned up. Like I said, we're going to put the smoothing panels in. Um, I believe that's going to open up some more mounting options. We're probably going to move the battery to the back. I would. I'm thinking about it, the only issue with running the battery to the back, you got to run some pretty thick cables because Both there's some drop. resistance, yeah. you know, in there. You lose a little starting power. So. Um, this is one question that we have though, like if anybody knows, like swap stuff. What do we do about the brake booster? Can we leave it in there with the, the, the 3.5 or do we have to uh, go to Hydro Boost? A couple guys said Hydro Boost was, was going to be an easier alternative as far as being smaller. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you can get on some of these, uh, um, you know, aftermarket places, they do make a smaller booster for this car. Um, I mean, you see how small the master cylinder is. I mean, it's nothing to it. I'm oh, wondering yeah. if we're going to have to change this though, because I would like to switch the car over to disc brakes. And uh, if you keep, if you put an 8.8 under it, you're going to have to buy the, the proportion valve. Unless, I was going to say you're going to have to switch it over to disc, but I forgot 94, 95 is the same width almost. Yeah. And they got disc brakes already. So, so that's where we're at with it, guys. Um, you know, it's kind of at a standstill now. This is one of them deals where we're trying to decide on what we want to do with the car um see i kind of had a plan for when i had the car the plan for me was to like the interior was already basically stripped when i had it so i bought an aluminum turkey seat to go in it and i was just gonna like build my own type console looking thing it wasn't gonna be like an actual console like you see in like a stock fox body but it was gonna look good enough that like you wouldn't you would think it was just like something that somebody put their own touch on, if that makes sense. And uh, of course, the dash, I put the dash in it. He's popping in. I don't understand. Pop in? Pop out. But anyway, the dash, I put the dash in it. Wave and then pop back out. I put the dash in it. It was already black when I had the dash. But. Be quick. If you witness a murder, I'm sorry. Ow! But anyway, Ow! it had a black dash in it, and I ended up putting a fresh coat of black on the dash. It needs a dash pad. Pop in? Pop out. It's got all the other stuff it needs. Um, the only thing that I didn't like about this car, and you're gonna, most of you guys are going to call me crazy, but it's got a sunroof. I'm not too crazy about sunroofs. I like it. Just to each their own. I mean, yeah, but that car over there is hard top. The only thing is with the sunroof is you don't want to really drag race because then you risk twisting the car. Hard top, good. Sunroof, bad. You bad. Uh, by the way, I meant to tell you. The plans for that car, that car over there. Yeah, that one's getting uh, uh subframe connectors, torque box reinforcement, which I think you said you were going to do torque box reinforcement. Yeah, I think Maximum Motorsports does... Uh, has a nice set. The only thing is, you gotta you gotta cut, drill, or re weld. Yeah, yeah. 
So that's gonna but, be fine. So I'm doing that to my car. I don't. Uh, he said something about torque box reinforcement on this on the 82, and subframe connectors too. Uh, I'm gonna need something with that motor in there. I mean, it makes you know almost 350 horse of stock. A lot more power than mine. And. The 3650 trans, uh, I believe that one that's had a short ratio trans in it because I mean you see how close the gears yeah. are together. I mean you go banging gears on something like that. I know we're going to stiffen the rear end. This car does have a seven and a half in it. Um, I thought about just welding, doing the uh, oh lord Lincoln. He's welder. talking about welding the differential <laughs> to where it's locked. Lincoln, Lincoln welder, what do they call that? Spider <laughs> gears, gone, no more. <laughs> Lincoln lock. So. <laughs> We've thrown around that idea. Lock. We've thrown around that idea. Uh, but there I don't again, think I don't know I'd if really that seven and a half is going to hold up. I mean, it will as long as it's spinning. Yeah, if you ever you, put a tire on it that yeah. hooks, you're done. Yeah. See, that's kind of like grenade. The, by the way, guys, if it, if you know of anything, of any kind of wheels for sale that's decently cheap for four lug eighty seven ninety three, hit me up because uh, I'm looking for some. I'm tired of the pony wheels. The pony wheels is what makes the fox body, man. Yeah, you know, it needs a set of wheels on it, though. Yeah, I agree. It, it would look so good. much better if it had a set of wheels. You'll curve them within a week anyway. The way Lies, I ain't even curved them yet. <laughs> Surprising. That's what worries me. I did curve the ones on the red car that time, though. All right, well, I guess we're going to wrap it up. But, uh, so just let us know in the comments what you think about the plans for the white car, what you think about the plans for the 82, and if you have any other suggestions. Yeah, feel free. Uh... All the suggestions can help us uh, move forward with, you know, move forward with, with this. Uh, and I'm sorry for the filming if it's bad at this point of the video. Blame it on me, because I'm. Oh no, we're gonna blame everything on you. I'm not. I'm not used to filming yet, so. Uh, you know, we're kind of both new at this. Uh, we just started the channel. We, I think, we did a couple videos back last year, but it was with phones. We've now upgraded our camera equipment just a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try to bring you guys some more content. If you have any suggestions for more content, leave them down below. If you don't like the video, tell me you don't like it. Tell me what we're doing wrong. What you, what you would like to see. Basically, help us uh, improve. Uh, like you said, we're new to this. We've, yeah, we're this here is for a... you guys and to bring you guys content. And, you know, uh, if you want to see me take a hacksaw to this thing and cut it in half and <laughs> try to willy barrel it down the hill? I mean, I'm all for it. No, we can't do that to a fox. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got to we gotta keep that... We gotta keep this car. We gotta save this. I like to party. I do, I like the party too, but you don't see me wanting to cut a Mustang in half. Right. I agree. Anyway, so I guess we're gonna wrap it up here. Like like we said, just give us information on what we can do to make this better. Uh, you guys have a good night, and this is Craig with Next Gen Car Guys. And Mike. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.